Parkinson's is very understudied in South Africa and that's a problem for us because people are not diagnosed in this country. There are too few neurologists and too few specialists who can actually diagnose the disease. So people often go um, undiagnosed and misdiagnosed. It's a terrible disease in that it affects your movement so people can no longer work. They cannot um, take certain career choices because it affects their movement and their posture. They become prone to falling. But then it also affects your um, cognitive abilities. As part of the Parkinson's disease research group, we identify individuals with Parkinson's. We recruit their family members, both affected and, under, and unaffected. And then we, do, we, we then do genetic analysis to try and find out why they have that disease. To date, we've only found it in about 20 individuals, which makes us realize that we don't, our patients don't seem to have the causes that are reported elsewhere, where they find a much higher pickup rate. And that means we need to look um, at other parts of the genome to try and find the causes and not just look at the genes that were identified overseas. My previous research when I was doing my postgrads and my PhD and my masters um, was involved in concussions. I was looking at brain injury and in rugby players. And basically I've always been interested in um, neurological disorders and brain diseases. And my supervisor for my PhD actually studied with Surya. So she actually told me that Surya is doing um, research in Parkinson's disease. And because I'm still interested in neurological disorders, I thought, okay, well, that's my next step, basically. When you ask what young women what do they need for them to achieve and um, do better in life, they say they want role models that look like them. And I thought that was a really significant point. We need to have women from diverse cultures, backgrounds, ethnic groups, uh, ages. Um, those are the people that we need to represent um, going forward. We don't have enough. I grew up on the Cape Flats in an area called Athlone. Um, I had a mom who was very inspirational even though she didn't go past grade three. And so she was the one that sat with my schoolwork and helped me to do homework and taught me maths. And if it wasn't for her, I don't think I'd be where I am today. Oh, sorry. So that's what it's called. What does it say? Distinguished Woman Scientist. So on the 23rd of August, I was awarded the second runner-up position in the Distinguished Woman Science category of the Department of Science and Technology's uh, Women in Science 2018 Awards. Being given this award, it makes me feel that now I have a responsibility towards young um, female scientists, that I have to be a role model for them and show that you can achieve a lot in your career, even if you are a woman in this country.